everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to 2021. I don't think too much will change with, uh, you know, what's going on. Hopefully you're staying safe, though, and you're here to be entertained, because that's what we're going to be doing. And yeah, we'll try some new things this year, see what it's all about. But yeah, I'm getting right into these Beast Wars figures that I got right away. Um, The Rat Trap. I'm a rat and I'm trapped. And the figure wouldn't be finicky if it wasn't some sort of beast transformer from the New Kingdom. And yes, I mean, it is what it is. It's a cheaper, smaller, a little bigger than a Legends class-like figure. And yes, the beast mode, they went for more of a realistic take on the little mice mouse. Yes, I miss my actual Beast Wars figures. I sold most of them. Like, oh, it was such a big mistake. I sold so much of them after I broke up with my ex like eight years. Because I was like, I'm not going to like toys anymore. I hate everything. I hate myself, I'm gonna sell everything, I'm gonna be this dude, then I went to therapy, became the woman I am today, and got back into all the stuff I love, and I've never been happier, never looked back, but I do, the one mistake of everything is selling those Beast Wars figures, I tell you, I tell you, <laughs> but yes, it's okay, I know a lot of people hate this transformation, it is a lot of bowl, bowl joints, my, it's a little bowl joints, but it really is, and like I said, it just it wouldn't be finicky if it wasn't Beast Wars. It's already falling apart but you know what it's okay um uh, I'll, I'll show you the robot mode i think if this was done in a masterpiece style especially like the robot mode you would have my money i would like it you know if he was like you know good six inches or whatever you should be 4.5 i don't know but you know what i mean <laughs> i can make it work so <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, whatever he wants to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, I would dig it. I got the uh, Dinobot Beast Wars Masterpiece coming, and yeah, Cheetor, and I already have Tigertron. So I want to get the Megatron as well, and yeah, some other ones. And or the ones I really like. So um, the, the, they look really good. I'm, like, I got my Masterpiece figures up there. I like Masterpiece. Like I said, it's more of a show piece, a brag piece when you have people over. Like, oh, look at those. Can we transform them? No! Have you ever transformed them? Probably not, <laughs> unless they came in their alt mode. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those things. But the Beast Wars ones, yes, I don't even know if I'll review them. Maybe I'll just show the collection of them or something. I'll have to see. But um, I really like um, just how they look. They look good. Like, um, the Beast Wars stuff from Masterpiece, I'm still enjoying. But the new stuff like Skids and all that, <laughs> ah, you just don't have me right now. But um, let, let's check out this little mice, little rat trap in his uh, robot mode, and then yeah, we can judge him there too. But yeah, it is what it is, it's a little mice, a little rat, well I guess it's a rat, not a mice, but still, it's rat trap. It's not mice trap. Oh, do you remember mouse trap? <laughs> it's a crazy contraption, it's mouse trap. <laughs> You've been trapped by a trap and a rat. <laughs> And yeah, that check out that robot mode. Um, yeah, he comes with that gun. I don't think you can store it on the animal mode. I never found a way how to do that. But yeah, there's a rat trap. And yeah, like I said, like this, like a lot of look like look at the legs, like right there on the shin is a ball joint. It just seems kind of like I don't know, loose and kind of weird. So I don't know. So it just kind of looks a little strange. But what can you do? But yeah, that nice little head sculpt if you can see it. Yeah, you can see his brain out. You know, I loved Beast Wars, also known as Beasties in Canada. Hey, Mom, can I watch some Beasties? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I liked it because there was just, uh, you know, after a while I liked it more because there's just so much going on. At first, yeah, I was one of those people, truck, not monkey. I didn't want my Transformers turning into animals, but like I've said once before, when Beast Wars came out in 95, 96, my family and their business, it blew up. So, like, I was going to the toy store and they're like, I don't want to deal with your problem. I'm going to buy you whatever toy you want. Get eight of them. <laughs> it was a style. <laughs> it's like, Mom, I feel strange. It's like, you do? How about, here's eight Beast Wars figures. <laughs> Don't talk to me for a week. But yeah, no. <laughs> it was a great time. <laughs> and yeah, um, the backpack, he's got this folded up junk on there. So maybe if the masterpiece, they could do this better. It's always an issue with the tail in the backpack. But no, I, I, I want to like this figure more because I love Rat Trap. I love, this makes me miss and want my old original Rat Trap because I like the Beast Wars real figure. Uh, I love the original Beast Wars figures more than these Kingdom ones, hands down, but these are still pretty nice. Haven't got my hands on the Megatron or anything, but I'll be excited to see what that's like. But yes, this Rat Trap, it's cool. It comes with that pistol. Of course, it'll show inserts. But yeah, it's not bad. It is what it is. I said it. <laughs> Damn you, Mr. Raptor, and your is-what-it-is talk, it's worn off on me, <laughs> that crazy raptor. 
But, um, yeah, you know, he's alright. He still looks good on the shelf and such, and I'm not hating him. So if we got him in, like, a similar uh, mode for Masterpiece, I would love that, because, you know, I got my Cheetor, got my Dinobot, got my Tigertron. I need a Rat Trap, because this trap needs to be Rat Trap. <laughs> or Mouse Trap? I don't know. Trap Trap. I don't know. But yeah, that's Rat Trap. Let's show some inserts of these guys as per usual. And yeah, this is one of these new things I'm doing where I review like multiple figures at once just so I can, you know, maybe show more content, show more toys. Because when I do it one by one and I'm buying like 80 toys a week, it's hard to keep up. Da -da -da -da. And now we have Cheetor. So Cheetor looks, I don't know, okay. You know, he always suffered from that. And even the original toy had that blue on the back like that. And this is once going for more of a realistic kind of cat mode. So silly cheetahs. <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, he's the cheetah, not the chest of cheetah. He doesn't like cheesies, but he's still kind of cheesy. <laughs> or is that just measy? <laughs> but yeah, what do you think? Do you like that cheetah mode? Are you down for that cheetah cheetah mode? All those speckles? Speckle speckle? But yeah, what do you think? He's okay. I really do like the original uh, chunky cheetor, the uh, original <laughs> uh, original cheetor from Beast Wars, but beasties, but uh, this is okay. You know that Cyberverse cheetor was just like a old school McDonald's toy, the new one that they put out, it wasn't that good, but I still bought it, so I was just happy to see cheetor at the store again. It's never a bad day when they put out a cheetor figure, even if it is just a little off. But I mean, that's the cheetah mode, cheetah cheetah, not too bad. Yeah, so, meow 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 meow, meow 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 meow, <laughs> so yeah. Very interesting. Not too shabby-wabby. And yeah, the cheetah mode isn't that bad. I think people are hating more on the robot mode, but we'll see what that's like as well right now. But, you know, whatever. It's not... The thing about the cheater figure... The thing about this cheater that I like is the transformation isn't that hard. And, yeah, I just kind of like it, so... Yeah, it's not bad. I'm happy with this Cheetor. It's one of my favorites so far. Yes, the orange could be more true, like the old orange, the darker orange, and blah, 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 but this isn't exact copy of Beast Wars. This is Kingdom, and they have something else going for them. It's a little different. Wow! And yeah, he looks fantastic. I really like it. Yeah, I like that head sculpt. I know people don't like the yellow, like I've mentioned, but it's okay. I mean, it does have the legs and just how it folds up there, however you want to do that, and the legs, but... I don't know, it's pretty cool. Got that really slick Cheetor head. Yeah, I mean, the articulation is, you know what I mean, like, it is inhibited by all that, but you can still get them around there. Hips do swirl. Up and down with the head, but not really side to side at all. And his legs. He can kick soccer balls with the best of his might. Yeah, he's really cool, and you can put his tail in his hand as some sort of, like, whip weapon. Yeah, it doesn't have the gut gun or anything cool. Like the original toy had the tail gun and the gut gun, this just has some tail whip. But like I said, they're not going for 100% accurate of Beast Wars, this is its own thing. He's got this weapon. It's Cheetor from toe to head. He is one... I don't know, I like him. I like these guys. I really do. Like I said, I love the original figures, uh, you know, a lot, lot more. But, you know, for what they can do today and budgets and blah 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 that this is not too bad but yeah let me know what you guys think should he be a better color should he what do, what's the nitpicks with him do you like the robot mode more do you like the animal mode more i really like the alt mode and i really like this robot mode it's not bad i'm not gonna pretend to hate it to be cool or whatever people's opinions are on the cheetah right now i'm digging them cheetah 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 i really think the blue and the yellow and everything just goes Super nice together. Not too much to say on them, you know. Love these guys, enjoying them for what they are, not trying to hate too much. And yeah, it was fun. And the packagings, you know, the packages they come in are super detailed with all that art. And it's cool to see these guys in the wild. And yeah, we'll get down to the Black Rat Nia. Stick around for some dancing and some inserts. And yeah, that'll be it for this video. But I'm super enjoying these figures so far. And yeah, let's check out that Black Rat Nia. Black Rat Nia, the Black Widow, she's horrifying. And yeah, you can store the weapon under her belly, which is cool. And yeah, there's, you know, her butt. <laughs> she's got a big butt in, <laughs> in spider mode. Yeah, you can see the other part of the face for transformation on the back. But overall, um, she's really cool. Like, the feet, just her hands clipped back there so perfectly. And yeah, she's terrifying. She kind of, I kind of match her a little. She's scary, though. <laughs> 
This, you never want to see Black Widow. <laughs> I was terrified of spiders as a kid, and I still am, so. I mean, yeah, she's cool. Like, a lot of people are really liking this figure of her. Of course, this one is one of those ones where it kind of does beat the uh, original uh, Beast Wars figure, because the original Beast Wars figure is awesome, but this one, like, and especially, like, this more realistic spider mode is sick, and especially her robot mode in this mode is pretty awesome, so, I mean, yeah, I'd say this figure is one of the ones that actually is better. It's kind of like a mini masterpiece figure. I mean, we've said that about Siege. A lot of reviewers and people in Transformers community are comparing some of these new figures just to, like, a more budget line, masterpiece line, which is fine with me, because, yeah, masterpiece, like I said earlier in the video, they're cool, they're nice to show off but they're not fun to review they're not fun to transform they're not fun to play with <laughs> like real toys but um yeah no spider mode it's scary hey man it's cheetor what up g <laughs> she is like yeah she's scary all those legs the shiny black their coat of red for her honor um yeah her face her eyes yeah it's scary it's a one a scary bug <laughs> Mmm. Mmm. Oh, she smells delicious, though. She licks delicious. I can't believe I licked a spider, but... Ah, ah! But she is delectable. I was kind of always hit or miss on her as a kid because, like, when I was younger, I was, like, 10 when the show was on or 11. I really didn't like her character. I just felt she was too over the top or anything. I mean, I liked her boobs and all that, but, and her shape, but her personality, I really liked her more when she came over to the good guys, and, you know, she had that romantic relationship with Silverbolt, and, you know, that won me over as a kid, I was like, oh, any romance in robots, it's just where I'm at, but, um, yeah, we'll check out her robot mode and see the sexiness of Black Rat Nia, but, yeah, this spider mode, creepy as ever, ah! Boom, there we go. And there we have Black Aratnia in her alt mode. And yes, just look at this figure. I'll lick her up. <laughs> She's... Oh my god, yeah, no. This kills it. Yeah, I like the original one too. I had the original Black Aratnia as a kid, so... Yeah, um, I, I like it, but this just... Oh my god, this is so TV show, Beast Wars accurate. It's unbelievable. Like I said, she never was one of my favorites until, like, she did to turn good, and, like, her character arc and Beast Machines, and... You know what I mean? Like, later on, I liked to enjoy her more when she became a good guy, and, um, yeah, when she had that thing for Silver Bolt. Oh, the romance was so good. And then, yeah, there's her weapon in there. She comes with her classic weapon. It doesn't shoot out or anything, but you won't lose it like the old one. <laughs> that rack on her. But yeah, she's fantastic from head to toe. You know, little feet. And yeah, you can do lots. You can, like, do the classic, like, when she was shooting everyone with her legs. Like she did in the old Beast Wars TV show. <laughs> Yeah, very cool. Yeah, no, I just love her, man. Um, yeah, everyone's loving on this figure, I think. And like I said, it, it is a good take. Like, the old ones were more like, you know, G1 Beast Wars figures are more like, you know, they're clunky, they're chunky, they're big, they're, you know, they're silly, and that's why I like them. But this is just sleeked out. This is like the masterpiece one, just done to such a, you know, smaller, affordable scale. Yeah, they totally knocked it out of the park with her. She's hot. Like, meow. <laughs> I need a silver bolt now. <laughs> I can't wait to get that uh, Air Razor and Tigertron, have that little couple, then have this little couple. I don't know if we'll get a silver bolt. Probably not. But, yeah, I know. Here's me hoping so I can have a romantic partner for once. <laughs> Silver Bolt was my kind of guy, too. He was just so corny and over-the-top romantic. Ugh. He, like, melted my heart as a child. I'm sorry. He really did. But this Black Ratnia does its job. Yeah, these Beast Wars figures are all in all pretty damn sick. The Cheetor, I mean, yeah, it has its issues. Clunkiness, chunkiness, but whateverness. And yeah, the little rat trap has its issues from being just, you know, just too small, you know, the poor class. It's just not enough plastic to make them great. But if they did a masterpiece of that, you know, and uh, I can't wait, my masterpiece Cheetor's on the way and my masterpiece, um, <laughs> Dinobot. So, yeah, and I can't wait to get the Dinobot of this and the Megatron. So that'll be sick. And I'll re be reviewing more of these guys as we go, you know. Yeah, but she's just fantastic. A little back shot. Yeah, I'm loving her. I'm loving her. I'm loving her. I'm loving her. Wow, they really knocked it out of the park with her. 
Oh, yeah. Like I thought, so like I said, I've always been a regular Beast Wars fan more, but these ones still do, they do something special, especially that Black Arachnia. I think a lot of people can agree. But yeah, let's check out some dancing, check out some inserts, wrap this video up, and yeah, thank you for watching, but roll those inserts. <laughs> everyone thank you for watching and supporting um check me out i'm on twitter i'm on instagram i'm on tumblr i mean yeah just be careful <laughs> oh <laughs> it's not all safe for everyone but hey if you like it you like it stick around but um yeah um yeah um i love these guys thank i hope you like these reviews where i'm reviewing multiple figures at once i'm really enjoying it it lets me crack some more stuff up like i said i have a special thing for the marvel legends coming up doing some dc stuff for the mcfarland figures and yeah, more Transformer stuff. I did just get my Optimus Primal, opened him up. Won't review him in this one, do him separately. But yes, loving that Optimus Primal. Well, it's not as near as good as the original, but I think we can all agree this figure was long overdue as well, the Cyclonus. So, psych. Clonus, I'm a psycho, and you can't clonus, cyclonus, but yeah, no, I'm loving him. I'm just so happy these are some of the greatest figures out there. <laughs> no, it's just a good run, you know, especially the stuff that's like G1. <laughs> some Beast Wars stuff is fun as well. But thank you for watching. Yeah, follow me, subscribe. Um, you know, more fun content here. Um, and yeah, more podcast stuff and news clips coming up. Just trying to, like I said, after the 15th, I should be able to ramp things up here and yeah, have at least three so or so videos a week again and just have a blast. Um, the channel's growing almost at that 2K and all that stuff. Can't be thankful enough. Let's have some fun this year. 2021. It might not be better than 2020, <laughs> but we'll make the best of it while we can. Anyways, take care of yourself, stay strong, stay positive, stay positive, and this dolphin might even catch you up on that flip side, y'all. Goodbye!